This is a place where you'll have no worries. Hey, what's happening, gamers? It's Amber here with Gaming's Let's Plays. Hope everyone stays going great in today. Everyone. And today we're going to be doing some more uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley. Uh, <laughs> surprise. And uh, so, yeah, I will be doing some other games, such as Spirit Fair and the other game I was doing, Silent Hope, but um, it's just easier for me to focus on Dreamlight Valley right now. Um, I will be trying to get some other stuff done. So today um, was kind of a... Um, interesting day. We had some people uh, coming over to the house to check on things. Um, so, um, yeah, so hopefully uh, it will be a good day today. So last time we were, uh, great to see you guys in the chat. Anthony, Juan, Jade Rose, and uh, Jonathan, George, George 5433, and uh, Jade Rose, and Juan. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Excuse me, hiccups. All right. So we are going to um, check out the Center of Attention, which is our newest quest that we're doing with Gaston. All right. So Center of Attention quest. So last time we actually collected the Gaston's antler chair. We have one out of one that we randomly collected. I don't know how we did that. Crate of Gastonian furniture. So we randomly found that lying around. We found 10 pieces of glass and 15 pieces of copper. So the only thing we needed is 15 tropical wood. We only had 10 of them. And I believe I found some more tropical wood just today. So we just need five more pieces of tropical wood. So there we go. All right, so now we have enough for the quest, and now we just have to find Gaston. Yep, so yesterday the streams were uh, delayed until today because there was a lot of problems going on. Not anything from our end, but there was problems uh, that I don't really want to get into. But those of you guys who were here, you'll know what they were. So, um... Hi, Donald. My favorite character, Donald Duck. So we've got uh, Gaston over here. Hmm. <laughs> An enormous egg, he says. Eve says, No. You can tell me the truth. No. Grrr. Alright, so we can give all these things... So we just kind of found these. I just found these by... Actually, you guys saw me find these last night. I was just running around the Tangled area and also the the um, Sands uh, area out there. So so the Desert area and the Tangled um, Jungle area. Uh, K-Wing, you're back. I was... Never mind. I, w I wasn't worried at all. Um, you were concerned, Gaston? What? No, I wasn't. I've mm -hmm. never thought for a moment that you'd fail to return. Uh, Gaston, did my absence remind you of LeFou? <laughs> uh, no, K-Wing, of course not. But if it <sighs> did, it's only because I'm an excellent leader to follow and not because I miss anyone. Um, Gaston, you're adorable, I guess? <laughs> no, I am not adorable. I am powerful. I am pr impressive. <sighs> now then, I see that you got supplies from Mr. McDuck. Uh, yep. He does want a cut of the profits from the lodge, though. Hmm, profits? You know, like the money left over after your expenses? Ha 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 ha. K-Wing, the lodge is a place for me to relax. And for others to appreciate me, not to spend money. Well, Scrooge won't be happy about that. He's expecting 25% of the profits. He wanted 50%, but I managed to negotiate with him down to 25%. <sighs> well done, K-Wing. Hmm, I believe a share of zero is still zero, is it not? You know what? Fair enough. That's Scrooge's fault for not asking for a business plan. Let's go fix things up. Marvelous. <sighs> 
start at the Scrooge and McDuck sign in front of the lodge. Okay, Good yeah, that's right. 25% of zero is still zero. That's true, so... He's going to take 25% of the profits. If he makes zero profits, he gets nothing. Oh, you're admiring me? Take your time. All right, center of attention. Begin the repairs, K-Wing. So we just have to go over here and... Ah, oh, this won't do at all. Whoa, wasn't expecting you to pop up there. Usually Scrooge McDuck handles the building renovations. Good thing it's me and not Mr. McDuck. He isn't really exactly the brownie type. I don't know what that means. Ah. Now let's get to work. On it. So Gaston is going to build it instead of Mr. McDuck. Blame Mickey, oh. not me, says Scrooge. Yeah, definitely Brandon. Ah, there we go. It's starting to take shape now. <laughs> Let's go inside and you can admire how I'm skill a skilled decorator as well. All right, you can go now. I've been trying to think of ways to liven up this village, K-Wing. You're admiring me. Take your time. Do you have a question, Gaston? Uh, K-Wing, I assume you've heard of me before we met? Uh, yes, yeah, some pretty interesting things from Belle. I'm sure she told you that everyone in our village thinks I am the best. It's my most admired quality. Anyone in need of a strappingly handsome hero? <laughs> no one at the guest on da 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 da. Don't go stomping around wearing boots like Gaston. Oh my gosh, he is a character. Alright, good thing I was here with your puny muscles. It would have taken you weeks to move all of the new furnishings and fix the exterior, K-Wing. Wow, my muscles are not puny. Oh, the K-Wing. You, al you always know how to make me laugh. Ha 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 ha. Ah, uh, my stomach. Ah, mm. uh, that was your stomach? Ah, uh, my stomach is complaining, Kaling. <laughs> it's been a good hour since I last ate. Ah, uh, let's swing by Chez Rami. The food there is amazing. If you can call it food. <laughs> Not a steak or cut of venison in sight, Kaling. I've got a better idea. Let's hear it. Before the forgetting, I was... On the trail of a mythical relic of legend. Ah. Some sort of enchanted chest full of delicious cuts of meat. Oh, like an enchanted meat freezer? Perhaps I was never sure what it exactly was. Legend has it that it was destroyed long ago in some sort of magical calamity. Pieces of it were scattered around the area that grew into the wild tangle. I bet they're all still there. I found these plans for it by some of those glowing ruins. Whoever came up with this is far more useful inventor than Belle's father. Ha 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 ha. Wow, Gaston. Huh? I told everyone you're insane, says Brandon. Ha 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 ha. Yes! <laughs> yeah, yeah, she told me. Yeah, she told me. Yeah, that's right, Brandon. Bell told everyone Gaston is crazy. Oh, but there's some sort of barrier around the pieces. I would get close to them. Then things would become strange. I think they must be lost in time. Uh. No, I've got big plans for this creation. If you can help me put it back together with that hourglass of yours, then I can open a stall to supply meat to everyone. Uh, well, I'll see what I can do, Gaston. Excellent, K-Wing. Don't take too long now, ha ha ha. Otherwise, I may be forced to eat a vegetable. Huh. 
Mm. Anyone in need of a strappingly handsome hero? Looks like you called me? What? No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good afternoon, Drago. Great to see you. Hi, um, Anthony. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, uh, Tim. Hi, Brandon. Hi, Paladin Prime. Hi, JS. And hi, HM Golvek. Hi, everyone. Check out the blueprints for the freezer and infinite meat in your inventory. Okay. All right. So we're going to look at the blueprints. Oh, here we go. Freezer of meat. Is Gaston my favorite? Um, he's pretty fun. I don't know if he's my favorite, but he is really fun in this game. So search the forever frag for the forever fragment freezer fragments in the wild tangle and in the Great using the hourglass in the upper grasslands in the grove in the other grass the grasslands in the uh, lower grasslands in the grove so let's see we've got the upper grasslands lower grasslands and the grove so it'd be this whole area here. Here, here, and here. So these three areas. All right. Thank you so much for the highlighted message, HM Galvag. Hi, Luke and Amber. Can Amber and Luke can you can I use your guys for my story for characters? I'm working on story art. Thank you for everything. Um, sure, HM Galvac. Of course you can use it. Thank you for being, wow, a member for 12 months. Thank you so much. Thank you, HM Galvac, for your membership. Um, hi, Brandon. Thanks for the little heart there. And hi, George. Great to see you. And of course, H.M. Galbeck, thank you for making a story with us. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. So, yeah, if you guys saw online, I, I, I went to the doctor yesterday and they said I have TMJ. So it basically <laughs> means like I still can talk. Like I can still talk. Okay. It just means like part of my face is a... Like, right, the right side of my face is, like, a little swollen, and I thought I had an ear infection, but I didn't. It's, like, this huge kind of, like, bump over by my jaw, and I was like, what is going on? Why do I have a weird bump on the side of my face? And it, and it's basically just my jaw. It's right where my jaw, like, right by my ear. Um, so, yeah, that's just, like, where my jaw is, and so I guess I got that from, they said I got it from, like, talking a lot, so... Um, I'm supposed to take medicine for it, but I can't yet because, um, I have to get my blood pressure down and I don't really have my blood pressure down far enough. So as, I mean, as long as it's not bothering me so much, um, weirdly enough, I actually had like a home remedy that worked, um, kind of, um, I had castor oil in the house, castor oil, and I put some of that on it and, uh, that's supposed to be really good for like different things. It's supposed to like get rid of toxins and sometimes be antibacterial and sometimes, but the lady told me it helps with inflammation or, or getting, getting rid of swollen areas. So, uh, the doctor did. So actually that worked really well. I don't feel as bad because I put that on it, but I haven't been able to actually take medicine for it yet. Cause of my, um, just my heart rate is too high. So, um, I just have to get that down and then I can, but I don't think I'm going to, I think I only really have to take the medicine for it if it gets really bad. Um, so yeah, but at least I know that it's like, I didn't, I thought I was getting like a weird, uh, deadly disease or something like on my, on my jaw. And then they were like, no, it's just got that way. Cause you were talking a lot. And then it's like, they told me what it was. So, yeah, I mean, like, it is, it can be really serious. Like, for Luke, I think his TMJ is a lot more serious than mine. Mine, I have it, but 
right now I, I'm, I'm, it's not a huge deal, um, like, but that's also because I put castor oil on it, it felt a lot better, I was, it was kind of painful before, and I put castor oil on it and it feels like, like night and day difference. Alright, so, um, alright, so we are gonna look for all the freezer fragments, so I guess we're just gonna keep, um, looking for different things in the tangle area, so we're gonna look, just try to make this, uh, meat freezer, which, I don't really know why they didn't, I guess they didn't have meat in the game to begin with, maybe it, cause they didn't want to, like, offend people or something, I don't know, or they just, like, it's kind of like you're in a happy world and then suddenly you're hunting Bambi and eating Bambi. This, like, um, I just remember this thing where we were at this, like, I, my friend was a vegetarian in high school and we went to the zoo and they were selling, like, we were looking at, like, birds and different kinds of animals and then they were selling, like, chicken and, and hamburgers right there. And she was like, I can't believe they're selling animals at the zoo. It's like, well, I mean, people eat hamburgers. Like, it's just kind of normal. But I actually just went, when we went to the aquarium in, um, in, uh, near Philadelphia, I believe they were selling fish there, like fish sandwiches. So, I mean, I think it's just a normal thing where they sell meat at, like, zoos or aquariums. I, I don't think people, most people I don't think are bothered by it, but some people are, I guess. I made an Easter light show on the Matrix. Oh, okay. Awesome, Tim. Well, that's very cool. Thank you, Tim, for making that. It's really great. Okay. Yep, hopefully everything goes well today. Yep, we can just hope for the best. All right, and after we make the freezer today, maybe we'll open another part of the the map. I'd love to uh, I'd love to open a part of like the desert area. Um, I think that would be pretty cool. So we'll probably do that today. Yeah, Ace Attorney is one of my favorite things that we're doing right now. So. So yeah, um, the internet company, uh, came and, uh, so, yeah. Um, and I had to take care of some of the things. I had to mail some cards today, finally got my, uh, some of my cards mailed out and, I actually really, like, since we get made ham for Easter, I didn't, I, I really don't know how I'm just going to eat ham straight. I'm not a huge mashed potato person or green bean casserole person, so I made some, uh, some uh, Kraft mac and cheese today, and I could definitely put, like, the ham in that so I can kind of finish the ham off. I might actually make, like, some yummy ham soup at some point, uh, All right, so we are we are gonna try to um, find all these different fragments. Let's see, so it looks like my inventory is full. I'm just going to go back home and kind of like um, leave all my inventory back where I where I am, where I live. Oh, thank you, Nintendo Lover Girl. I appreciate that. I um, hope you're having a great day, Nintendo Lover Girl, and great to see you, Julia. And um, thanks for the kind words. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Yeah, so, I mean, I think it will just be something that I'll just, I'll just deal with. It's very strange because, like, I have, it's like a bump under your skin, and it's like, I thought it was, you know, like, oh, I'm getting... Like a bump, like it's like what happens when you, when you're like have an infection, but I don't have an infection. It's just like a bump that formed because um, I was using my jaw so much. So yeah.
I think it's because I did the Princess Peach voice. And I did, like, you know, a lot of voices. So I was doing the little girl voice for the, um... I was doing the Princess Peach and a lot of the, like, different voices like that. <laughs> All right. All right, so I'm just going to put all my, uh... oh, darn it. Okay. Sorry, it's taking me so long to put everything away, guys and gals. Sorry about that. All right, there we go. So, got a little bit more room here. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the tangled area and we're gonna try to get all of the items that we need. Um, so I'm just gonna go right back here. You finished watching the upload? Thank you, Victor, for watching it. Appreciate that so much, thank you. So we are uh, basically going to, I might have to actually upgrade my um, I might have to upgrade my, uh, you know what we're going to do before we do that though? I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take this, uh, opportunity before I forget, before I forget, I'm going to take this opportunity to open the, the area here that I wanted to open for a long time. So this is the area that I wanted to open the borderlands area. Never opened it. Um, I think that that's the next area I really wanted to open, so we're going to try to do that. And I don't really know what to expect. A lot more sand. So upper grasslands, lower grasslands, and the grove for Gaston. Okay. So I want to open the one that says 10,000. Okay, here we go. We're opening the borderlands. Uh, oh, okay, Wing, I see you found another mysterious time rift. This too is connected to the magic of your hourglass. Channel the magic mist within it to mend this wound in time and space. Yeah. <laughs> when you do, you can explore another area of the glittering dunes, the borderlands. All right, 10,000 dream <laughs> uh, mist points. Brilliantly done, K Wing. Now you can set out. And explore the borderlands. There's not there's so much to learn, I'm sure. I take my hat to you. <laughs> Thanks, Merlin. So I guess I should do this time code as opening the borderlands. Hi Game Wing, how's it going? Great to see you. I hope you're having a great day, uh, Game Wing uh, Juan. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hi, Juan. Hello, um, everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well. So we opened the Borderlands, so now I won't forget to open it because uh, I kind of want to upgrade my. Um, I kind of want to upgrade my uh, my little like wand here. So I've opened this huge area here. 
Uh, and yes, Dawn is excited. So now we've got this whole area up here, and look at this. <gasps> Whoa! So we've got an, uh, an Aladdin castle up here, so I knew it. So there's half of Aladdin's castle is unlocked. Really cool. So once we unlock the other half, it should unlock um, Aladdin's castle. It's going to be really cool. Oh, you're in, enjoying Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice? Awesome, Brandon. I'm so glad to hear that. Oh, a memory from Jafar. All right, never say this out loud, but can write it down. I miss LeFou. It's nice when he tells me that I'm the best. <laughs> oh, that was Gaston writing that, I think. All right, so we would have to pay 6000 to open this area. So let's see where we actually are on the map. So that would be this area here. Oh, the promenade. So, very cool. So we have this area all unlocked now. This entire Borderlands area. Well, I haven't even gone back here. So I haven't even... Um, I guess we can see what's over here. See if uh, Gaston has something else to say about LeFou. Um, Kale King Gaston of Gastonia. Everything perfect here. Especially with LeFou. Should I make him my squire? Perhaps a duke. Nice. Okay, so Gaston is writing weird messages to himself. Perfectly normal behavior. All right, and we can actually unlock fast travel. Um, Hello. Okay, it would need ten thousand more. Uh, oh, need ten thousand gold. Remember, okay. time is money. Okay, thank you. Uh, oh, awesome, Vic Victor. That's fantastic. I discovered you guys actually during the Lego DC Super Villain. Okay, I, f I first discovered you guys during the LEGO DC Super Villains series, so I watched the uploaded, um, so, so watching the upload and those shorts is bringing back memories from back then. Thank you, Victor. Thank you so much for the highlighted message, Victor. All right, thank you so much, Victor. Appreciate the highlighted message, and thank you for the kind words. Appreciate that so much, Victor. Thank you. Um, you have someone you know who is going to the hospital? I'm so sorry, Game Wing. Sorry to hear that. Um, I hope that person gets better. I'll definitely uh, keep them in my thoughts and prayers. Yeah, it's never fun for anyone to go to the hospital, definitely. All right, so there's another one for, so, all right, so we are going to be um, looking at the, so we are going to be trying to find the, the, the pieces that we need to get the meat. Okay, we got an orange tea set, and now we can get right, now we can go right into there, into the borderlands. And you can kind of see the castle in the background. 
um, a little bit. So that looks really neat back there. Still a lot of things that have to be unlocked. All right, so I am going to go back home. I'm going to see if we can upgrade our uh, um, hourglass here, Sands of Time hourglass. Yeah, and I apologize. I'm just moving the stream to 430, so sorry about you guys. So I'm waiting for that. Um, uh, I just uh, was able to start. Okay, hourglass upgrade. Oh, wait. Okay, let's do special upgrade. So how do we have to do the hourglass? We need 3,000 mist points to upgrade the hourglass. So I just used a lot of the mist points. So I can't upgrade it yet. I should have upgraded it. Uh, I should have upgraded it before I did that. Darn it. Well... We live and you learn. So, um, once we get 2,000 more missed points, then we can upgrade the hourglass. Oops. That's okay. I'm going to do the best I can. Um, they said you can unlock most of these pieces just by using the hourglass. So, we're just basically going to use our hourglass and do the best we can to unlock this stuff. Okay. So we can't unlock the really big ones there. We can only do like the small things with our hourglass. All right, so maybe uh, next time I can uh, upgrade my hourglass so I can um, take on more things. Um, so, yeah, 6,000, and then this one needs 6,000. That one needs 10,000, so that one is what? Okay, that's the lagoon for 10,000, okay, I think. Um, okay. Alright, so the game did tell me to just, um, look for... Oh, looks like he likes bamboo. That's pretty cool. Uh... Happy Barra, I think they are. Little, uh, well, not a little, big rodent. Okay, thank you, uh, for sending that to him. Appreciate that so much. Thank you. Okay, so he will also eat the Oliveira, so that's good. Well, looks like we have to upgrade our hourglass, so I probably shouldn't have done the Borderlands today. Um, because I can't actually, um... The only other thing I can think of is, um, if I just basically... Looks like that's what we need. So this is what I was supposed to be doing the whole time.
All right, so it says I need one part in the lower grasslands. So it looks like I might be able to actually complete this. Okay, so we're going to try to go to the lower uh, grasslands. So we're going to... So it looks like I was doing this completely wrong. Sunshine Just have to kind of uh, use your hourglass you like this really instead like of... The, what, instead of looking for the swirly things, just use your hourglass like how I'm doing now where you just kind of press uh, square if you're on the PlayStation, just kind of out in the middle of nowhere and wait for it to find something. Uh, okay. All right, so now we're going to go back to Gaston. Um, okay, so it looks like he's coming right over here. So we can meet him in the, in the courtyard there. All right, there he is. He is always talking to Eve. Ah, who's going to polish my boots in this town? Center of attention, what should I do? Have you found the pieces to the meat cabinet? They should be in the wild tangle in the time rifts. Assemble the free right, you can go freezer now. of infinite meat at your time bending table. Oh, I was supposed to assemble it. All right, we're going to try assembling it in our time bending table. All right, here we go. Freezer of meat. One freezer fragment, uh, so something. Freezer fragment, exterior plating, and freezer fragment radiator. Freezer of infinite meat complete. Freezer of infinite meat complete. That would be a good uh, title for the video. And Gaston is completely, he left me. Okay. Okay. All the sun and I'm oh, he's just hanging out on the bench. Mm, okay, there we go, Gaston. There's your freezer of infinite meat. Ah, uh, here we go. One, uh, one freezer of infinite meat as requested. <laughs> Nicely done, LeFou. I am not LeFou. <laughs> oh, right. Gaston, hello, are you okay? What? Mm. Why wouldn't I be okay, K-Wing? Never mind, let's move on. You could have been a little quicker. Uh, I think that's an exaggeration. <laughs> I know the meaning of the word. Okay, I get it. You are really hungry. Yes, mm -hmm. but that does... What does exaggeration mean? It means... What you said is true and accurate. What do you... You overstate things. Oh, I do not. When I say I'm exceedingly charming and handsome, that is the truth. One question, Gaston. Where does the meat come from? I am not huh? sure. I was going over the plans, and there were just so many words. Ah. Something about crystal meta structures, howl, oh, graphics, some such an atomic reconstruct something or other. Whatever all that is, it's not from hunting. Yeah, I don't get that either. Let's get to the stall. Let's get that stall working. Okay, so let's go reopen Gestal's old stall in the desert. So we're going to go find the stall and reopen it. So we were able to open the, the, uh, the borderlands, which are over there. And now we can reopen Gaston's stall, which I think is over here. So I think we got a lot done today, and I just have to get a lot of dream light so I can upgrade my hourglass and some other things. Alright, so I believe this is Gaston's stall. Oh, oh bless me heart. Neighbor. Gaston finally got the stall supplied with meat. Let's get it fixed up already. Look at the tasty meat. I'm already salivating. 
All right, we got Gaston's meat stall. Yay, meat time. All right, let's go talk to him. Marvelous, meat is available again, and everyone will know they have Gaston to thank when I throw a roaring party for the village at my lodge. Um, I'm getting used to not getting credit. <laughs> Sounds like you're really settling into your role as a sidekick, K-Wing. Ha ha! <gasps> now that I've already heard that not only do you have the power to control time, but you're a good cook. Um, I dabble. Good. Once, uh, once you buy some meat, you can whip up a solid meal for me. Excuse me, buy the meal? I worked so hard to get your stall going. Of course, if I give you any for free, then everyone will expect some. I guess that makes sense. Now, think carefully about what you're going to cook for me. You sure? I'm kind of new to cooking with these ingredients. Well, there are a few writings about food around here, or just make something up. Be sure it's large and meaty. Okay, a couple of meat dishes. No problem. A couple? No, no, that won't do. I want everyone at my gathering to know how generous I am. Uh, uh, uh anything else, your highness? Ah, uh, I could get used to being called that. Bring me four meat-based dishes, understand? Yep, that's fine. All right, so we finally got, um... We finally got Gaston's meat stall. And, uh, yeah, I think we did pretty well with this. Here we go! Gaston's meat stall! Yay! Alright, guys, and uh, we'll be back in about uh, 10 minutes or so for the next stream, which will be on, um, it will be on uh, um, Ace Attorney coming right up. Thank you again for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys around uh, in about 5-10 minutes for the next stream. God bless. Happy gaming. Thanks for watching. See ya.